Dear students of grade 8, today we discuss about rash number which is the first chapter of mathematics in a standard. As you know, rational number is a number which can be expressed in p by q form where p and q are integers q not equal to 0. So if you are if you're taking an example, you know 3 by 4 is a rational number. Why? The numerator 3 is an integer and the denominator 4 is another integer. Definitely the denominator 4 will not be equal to 0. So definitely we can see that 3 by 4 is a rational number. If you are taking a whole number like 5, 5 is another rational number. Why? 5 can be written as 5 by 1 which is in the form of p by q where 5 is a numerator, 1 is a denominator. So we can conclude that every whole number or every natural number or every integer will be a rational number. And we discuss about the properties of rational number. We know the first property was closure property. What is closure property? Consider A by B and C by D are two rational numbers and star is the operation. Sometimes star can be multiplication or division or addition or subtraction. Star is a general operation. Then the operation star is said to be closure if A by B star C by D is a rational number. That means when we are going to closure under addition, if A by B plus C by D is a rational number, we can say that closure property is satisfying under addition in rational number. As you know, if you are taking any example, any rational numbers under addition, definitely when we are operating, the result will be equal to a rational number. So we can conclude that closure property is satisfying under addition. And what about the subtraction? We know A by B minus C by D will be another rational number. If you are taking any example, the property will be satisfied. So we can conclude that closure property is satisfying under subtraction. And if you are taking the multiplication, the same thing will happen A by B into C by D. We know that that's again another rational number. If you are taking any example like 2 by 3 into some 5 by 7, definitely the result will be another rational number. So we can conclude that closure property is satisfying under multiplication. But what will happen in division? We can check that A by B by C by D will not be a rational number. In what case? You know, if you are taking 0 as a rational number. As you know, the, divi the division of 0 is not defined. So we can conclude that closure property is not satisfying under divisions. So these are the things what we discussed today. We will get back in the next class.